Hi everyone, Dr. Joe here. So we have some great, exciting news. We've been able to, on older devices that are not A12 chip equipped, that do not support augmented reality, we've been able to turn on some aspects of computer vision. This is truly remarkable because it's gonna save you tremendous amounts of time with automatically cropping down your images or your videos. So you won't have to, by default, use those yellow crop lines anymore, okay? And the greatest thing about this is that if the computer predicts a spot that you don't agree with, all you have to do is just drag it into the correct location. So with that said, for any of you that are new users, we're gonna go ahead and walk through the process from start to finish with a two view assessment. And this is starting in version 11.9 of Posture Screen. Okay, so let's check this out. So the first thing we do for a posture screen is we're gonna come up here, click the plus sign, then we're gonna select our evaluation, we're gonna click posture screen, and the other thing I wanted to remind anybody who's new is the automatic assessments are only part of the unlimited subscription, okay? If you have any questions about that, reach out to support at posturescreen.com. So let's fill in, and you only have to fill in this information just simply one time. So he's male. I'm gonna put him as Tim Smith, and he is six foot. So we're gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and say he's six one. And he weighs approximately 155. And I already know his birthday is in 1979, but I'm not gonna give up his actual birthday. Okay. and. Now we're ready to take photographs. Now, one thing I wanna um, state to you is, realistically, the way this should work, and I have other videos on uh, clothing, how to have the person set up, you really want a person in the most revealing clothing that they feel comfortable and you feel comfortable in, i.e. most men when I was in practice were in shorts, and I provided shorts that they would change into, um, and I did this in the exam room, so it was just myself, my staff, and the, and the, the patient. Um, if they're in baggy clothes, you should tighten up those clothes using clothespins. I have another tutorial on that. For this demonstration, ideally we would have the, the client or patient with their shirt off since they're a male. But for just demonstration purposes, I'm just showing you how to use the application. Okay? Understand? All right, let's go ahead and move forward. So we would ideally want to put in their email address as well too, at least one time. So I'm going to go ahead and put in an email address for the client, and you can put in their phone number, that's all optional. So to get started, all we have to do is, the first time that you use this, you may get prompted to give permissions to the application for camera roll or photos, uh, always click OK. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. You're gonna get a heads up display on the older devices that you wanna make sure is in the center of the person now also pay attention to the backdrop here. You wanna make sure that that's fairly level and we're gonna go ahead and just snap the picture. Now at this point, we're gonna hit use photo. Okay, and on older devices, that's a little bit slower at that point. Now we're gonna ask the patient to slowly turn to the side. We're gonna do the same thing again. Make sure, try your best to make sure that it's green. Look at the background, always look at the background, try and make sure that that's level as well too. Try and make sure the device isn't turned. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click. Now at this point, you hit use photo, okay? And notice it's automatically cropped down the image. That's new and exciting. That's something that we had to do manually before. Then we hit start digitization. Now at this point, if you see the computer made a mistake, and a lot of times when it makes a mistake, it's usually due to clothing or poor lighting in the evaluation. You can drag a point. You can go ahead and fix a point. Okay, so now at this stage, you can go ahead and fix anything that you need to do. Okay, so I wanted to just make that point about that. And we're gonna go ahead and hit next. And notice it did a fabulous job even on an old device, but one point that I'd like to fix is, I'm gonna move this more to the greater trochanter, right about there is where I think his hip is. And I'm gonna be uh, picky. I'm gonna move this point up a little bit more, and bring this point down just a little bit more because that's where I want to make sure that line kind of follows the approximation of their, their neck, okay? And at that point, we're all done. So this is pretty amazing. At this point in time, we can generate a report, we can review this with the patient, 
so we can review these points. And I have other in-depth tutorials. We can go ahead and prescribe corrective exercises if you have a web exercise account. But if I want to send this to the client or preview the PDF, I can hit preview. And look at that, it's already done. So pretty neat stuff. That should save you a tremendous amount of time on older devices. Just remember, you can always edit the points. We have numerous in-depth tutorials um, on every aspect of the application, but this is the new update starting in 11.9, and I know you're gonna love that. If you have any other questions, reach out to support at posturescreen.com. Thank you.